Welcome learners. Today we'll look at the extraction of metals, particularly extraction of aluminium. We begin by looking at the main ore. The main ore in its natural form is called bauxite. The chemical name is called hydrated iron 3 oxide. The chemical formula is L2O3 dot water now the impurities in this ore are iron 3 oxides and, and and silicon four oxides the impurities in the this ore as iron 3 oxide and silicon four oxide the other ore in its natural form is called mica chemical name is potassium aluminium silicates the chemical formula is the chemical formula is K2Al2 silicon 6 oxygen 6. And then the next one is natural form is called corundum. Chemical name is aluminium oxide. Chemical formula is L two O three. Now the extraction process of aluminium begins from mining. Mining is done by open cast. Then number two, after mining, is crushing of the ore and eating of the ore. Number two is crushing and eating of the ore, whereby the ore is ground into fine powder so as to increase surface area of extraction of aluminium. After that, the ore is heated so as to remove the water of crystallization. Number three is concentration of the ore. Concentration of the ore, the main aim of doing that is to remove impurities. Now, in concentration of the ore, it involves three stages. Stage one is the removal of iron three oxide, in which the ground ore is dissolved in hot concentrated sodium hydroxide at 160 degrees Celsius and pressure of 4 atmosphere, whereby aluminium oxide, being amphoteric, dissolves in sodium hydroxide to form sodium aluminate. The equation becomes aluminium oxide plus sodium hydroxide plus water Arrow sodium aluminate. The chemical equation occurs as follows aluminium oxide, which is a solid, plus sodium hydroxide, which is aqueous, plus water liquid gives you sodium aluminate which is NaAl brackets OH4 now the balance equation you place here 2 and then I place here 2 the balance equation now silicon oxide which is the impurity and is acidic oxides dissolves in sodium hydroxide to form sodium silicate. The equation is silicon oxide plus sodium hydroxide gives you sodium silicates. The chemical equation is silicon oxide, which is a solid, plus sodium hydroxide, which is aqueous, gives you sodium silicates aqueous plus water which is liquid now to balance the equation I place here 2 now iron 3 oxide which is also an impurity being a basic oxide does not dissolve in sodium hydroxide hence is therefore filtered out as a residue with other impurities 
and the filtrates will contain sodium silicate and sodium aluminate. Now stage two, after removal of iron trioxide is formation of aluminium hydroxide. Now this then can be done by two ways. One, treating the filtrate with carbon four oxide gas. Now the carbon four oxide will precipitate aluminium hydroxide from sodium aluminate. The equation will be as follows. Carbon four oxide plus sodium aluminate arrow will give sodium carbonate aluminium hydroxide plus water. The equation occurs as follows. Sodium aluminate plus CO2 gas will give you sodium carbonate plus aluminium hydroxide plus water. Now to balance the equation, I place here 2 and then I place here 2. So these are solid here, the precipitates. This one is aqueous and this one is aqueous here. Now, the other way of formation of uh, aluminium hydroxide is by what they call seeding, whereby the filtrate is first diluted in water, and then agitated in air to enhance hydrolysis of aluminium ions, and then seeded by freshly prepared ion 3, and then, then seeded by freshly prepared aluminium hydroxide crystals. The equation becomes sodium aluminate RO aluminium hydroxide plus sodium hydroxide the chemical question is as follows sodium aluminate RO a place here aluminium hydroxide crystals I get sodium hydroxide, which is aqueous, plus aluminium hydroxide, solid. Now, state number three. State number three, after that, is roasting of aluminium hydroxide. Aluminium hydroxide is heated to about a temperature of 1000 degrees Celsius where it decomposes to form aluminium oxide and water. That is now pure bauxite. The equation is aluminium hydroxide arrow heat aluminium oxide plus water. The equation is as follows. Aluminium hydroxide solid gives you aluminium oxide solid plus water liquid to balance the question I place here 2 here 2 and then here 3 Now, after we get now pure bauxite, we now come to what is called reduction of the O. Reduction of the O is done by electrolysis in an old cell. Both the anodes and the cathode are made of carbon electrodes. Now, the melting point of aluminium oxide is about 2015 degrees Celsius. Now, to operate at this temperature, it becomes uneconomical due to high cost of electricity used for eating. Therefore, how can this problem be solved? Purified aluminium oxide is dissolved in molten graolite. reason for that 
is crow like is an impurity and lowers the melting point of aluminium oxide from 2015 to 800 degrees Celsius. What is the significance of lowering the temperature? To make the process economical because it saves on cost electricity is for eating. Note that electrolysis of molten aluminium oxide cannot be carried out at a temperature below 800 because aluminium oxide will solidify and ions will not be free to conduct electricity. Now the diagram below shows an old cell whereby we say the, say the anode which is this one here is made of carbon anode and this one is the cathode which is made of also carbon, carbon electrodes. Now inside this cell here we have four ions. We are going to have sodium ions, aluminium ions, fluoride ions and oxide ions. Now the ion that migrates to the anode will be oxide ions and fluoride ions. Now oxide ions will be discharged to form oxygen gas as shown in the equation below. We say oxygen oxide ion arrow will give you oxygen gas plus oxide ions, this one. will form ocean gas plus now this one is losing this one is losing two electrons so it becomes four electrons four electrons that is the equation at the anode now the equation at the cathode two ions migrate the cathode that is sodium ions and aluminium ions now aluminium ions are prevalent discharge because they are below sodium electrochemical series and also because they have in they are in high concentration than sodium ions from the chloride. The equation becomes as follows at the cathode aluminium three plus plus three electrons gives you aluminium liquids. Now sometimes you may balance the equation, you may be told to balance the equation both at the end of the cathode. Now to balance the equation both at the end of the cathode, you will have to multiply these three here times three and this four here times four here. You take times three here, then here times four. Now if you do that, the total number of electrons will be lost here is 12 and here will be 12 here about the electrolysis of aluminium is aluminium is obtained in liquid form of molten states reason aluminium has lower melting point than electrolyte it is two it is obtained at the base of the cell because it is denser than the electrolyte now aluminium is reduced by electrolysis because it's a more reactive element than carbon. Now, point another point to note is the anode is replaced quite often. The reason is the carbon anode wears out because at high temperature it reacts with oxygen gas produced to form carbon dioxide gas. Now, the flow diagram below shows extraction of aluminium. Now in this first box here, you have what they call bauxite plus impurities, which is silicon oxide and ion trioxide. The first stage number one was crushing and eating of the ore, and they said crushing is done to increase surface area for extraction of the uh, aluminium. Eating is used done to remove the water crystallization. And then after this part, you have what they call powdered bauxite, which is dissolved in concentrated sodium hydroxide. The aim is to remove ion trioxide, which is a basic substance. So inside here we get sodium silicate and sodium aluminate. 
and out of what gets out of here is ion 3 oxide now the filtrate from here is of formation of aluminium hydroxide from the filtrate and above here that's done by either bubbling co2 or by seeding after that we have what they call the sludge that gets out of here what to remain with here is only aluminium hydroxide the sludge is made of sodium carbonate and sodium silicates that get out of here now the aluminium hydroxide from here is heated at about 1000 degrees celsius to get now pure bauxite the pure bauxite is electrolyzed because aluminium is a reactive element to get a pure aluminium here now the physical properties of aluminium are it is ductile two it is malleable three it is a good conductor of electricity due to presence of delocalized electrons it has high melting and boiling point due to strong metallic bond chemical properties include polished aluminium oxides at uh, about 800 degrees celsius react with oxygen to form aluminium oxide aluminium oxide aluminium does not react with cold water Aluminium reacts with steam to form aluminium oxide and hydrogen gas. Hot aluminium reacts with chlorine gas to form white solids, which sublimes. Polished aluminium, polished aluminium reacts with dilute acid slowly to form solid hydrogen gas. Now, uses of aluminium. One is say it is used for making ovoid cables. Reasons for that. It is light and is a good conductor of electricity. Two, it is used for making cooking vessels. Reasons, it is a good conductor of heat. Then it is not easily corroded by cooking liquids because it is reactive due to presence of a coating of aluminium oxide. Now, an alloy of aluminium and magnesium is used for making parts of aeroplane. Reason is because of the low density. Now, duralium, which is an oil of aluminium, is used in construction of air aircraft and car windows frames. Reason, it is light, it is strong, and it is hard. In the next lesson, we're going to look at extraction of copper. Thank you.